In the last Entrepreneur live stream, the topic came up about imposter syndrome. And the question was posed to me, do I feel like I have imposter syndrome? And I'm like, absolutely not. I feel like I deserve absolutely everything I have. Like I am meant to be here and I deserve to be exactly where I am. And that right there was the key for me because the thought in my head was I deserve to be exactly where I am. And then I'm thinking, well, where am I? And where I am financially is certainly not where I wanna stay. So if you watch any of my budget recaps and I'll link to some of them below, I'm kind of at a standstill and I have been for the past like 10 years. I haven't changed income in a pretty long time. I mean, I've gotten raises here and there and I'm so grateful for them, but it's like like mon minor, like very um, marginal, like two or 3% here or there. And is that where I wanna stay? Absolutely not. So if now, if I'm answering the question about imposter syndrome, do I have imposter syndrome where I am? No. Do I have imposter syndrome when it comes to moving to the next level? Yeah, a little bit. And I know that's why I have been stuck where I am for the longest time. So after thinking about that, after this live stream that we did on Friday, and I'll link to that down below as well, I'm thinking, well, how do I get over this? How do I move from where I am, which I am so thankful to be where I am because I'm doing better than I was 15 years ago. That said, I don't wanna still be here five years from now. And I've heard it said that if you're not growing, you're dying, and I certainly don't wanna be dying, so that means that I have to keep growing. So I'm really working to train myself to move forward and to conquer my imposter syndrome when it comes to moving to the next level because I know that I can do it. So this is just me documenting where I am right now. It's 2022, October 2nd. And I've been working to move to the next level for a while, but I know that mindset is a huge part of that. I just haven't been in the right place mindset wise to move to the next level. And that that's all it is. And I, because I firmly believe that where I am right now is a result of my own choices. Like I have nobody to blame. Where I am is where I choose to be consciously or unconsciously, it's where I choose to be. So if I choose to be here, I can certainly choose to be somewhere else, somewhere better, somewhere more abundant, where I'm able to give more and save more and enjoy more of life. And I know that that's what the creator has for me. As a person of faith, I firmly believe in, um, the God of the universe's good intentions for me personally. So here are the things that I am doing and implementing in order to move to that next level and conquer my imposter syndrome of moving to the next level. So number one is to know beyond a shadow of a doubt, right? To know that I am worthy of the next level. And that might sound pretty basic. It's like, oh, am I worthy? Yeah, sure. But there's so much on the inside that I come into contact with that kind of calls me out as saying, well, you may think that you think that you're worthy, but do you actually know deep down in your gut that you're worthy of this? And if so, how do I then release behaviors and thoughts and actions that sabotage me? So thinking about the behaviors and thoughts and actions that sabotage me, I think my biggest issue is just lacking a clear direction and um, execution. So that comes down to point number two. So point number one is to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that I'm worthy and to believe that I'm worthy of this abundant life, to know that my higher power has this rich, abundant life in store for me coming up that this life that I'm living right now is currently rich and abundant and there's more coming. So if, if you're on a journey from like, I don't know, to from a desert to, to a rainforest, you're thinking, well, there's some water in the desert. You, you have to live. I know deserts, what is it? Deserts aren't hot, they're dry, right? So there's just enough water to sustain you. But if you're going to a rainforest, then there's going to be you know, ocean, not oceans, but tons of water available to sustain you. So that's kind of what I'm thinking is where I am right now is okay, but where I'm going is even more. And that next level is just waiting to welcome me into that level of being. So that's step one. 
Step two is to have a clear vision of what that looks like. And this comes the more I am attuned to it. So there's this phenomenon called the reticular activating system. And it's once you have this thing in your mind. So for example, if you're thinking to yourself, I'm on the lookout for yellow cars. Previously, you may not have seen any yellow cars, but all of a sudden you see yellow cars everywhere because you're looking for them. So if I'm looking for that next level, as I release that imposter syndrome, I'm looking for the next level and wondering what that looks like. I believe that pieces of that are revealed to me as I am able to see them. So that's kind of what I'm on the hunt for. And I have to know and believe that my higher power has it all mapped out because I am someone that wants to control each and every tiny step of the way and I don't need to do that. In fact, that's I believe that that's stopping me needing needing to control the journey is stopping me from moving forward because my job is to just show up and get out of the way <laughs> to do the work but also to get out of my own way because I'm a huge one for self-sabotage and inaction due to like toxic perfection. If I can't do it right, then I'm not going to do it. If I can't do it perfectly, then I'm not going to do it at all. Done is better than perfect. That's a motto um, that I try to remind myself of. So having a very clear vision of what that looks like, knowing that God has the details, that all I do is show up. Literally, my only job is to show up, report for duty every day. That's all I have to do. And step three is to put in place those daily habits and actions that will get me to the next level. And I feel like over the past six days, I've been doing pretty well with this. So I have my planner, sort of a tracker that I keep track of um, these habits that I'm executing every day. So I have three habits that I'm doing right now, and they are listing my gratitudes, listening to subliminals, and then listing out my um, my affirmations and something else I'm doing as well is gathering evidence and that's evidence for the fact that I am worthy of this abundant life that's coming so that's things like for example if someone really wants to work with me despite xyz obstacles like somebody really wants to work with me I'm like oh that's really cool or as abundance comes into my life for example Someone in my family just bought a new car, so I'm riding around in a brand new car, and I'm like, okay, like this is pretty cool. This feels pretty abundant. And another thing was that um, just kind of small incremental um, wins in terms of money coming in and being grateful and thankful. I like the word thankful because it sounds more abundant to me. Think of Thanksgiving. So being thankful for every amount of money that comes in, no matter how small. That's something that I'm doing on a daily basis as evidence for the fact that abundance and wealth is my birthright and I am worthy of that. So that's my thoughts. Those are my thoughts on imposter syndrome on the next level and conquering that. So I want to say a shout out and thank you to Sab from the Entrepreneur live stream from Friday because she really helped me realize that. So I'm hoping that I'm hoping that's useful for someone else. Um, and I'm using this as a way to document, again, the journey that I'm on. And I hope that, um, I thank you for watching and I hope that you'll keep watching. Bye.